because today we're very proud to announce our third generation uh, 5G modem. The X60 modem. The X60 modem also come with a third generation RF front end, which I'll talk about that today. And is the world first five nanometer wireless chipset. It is going to change one more time the deployment of 5G networks, providing full carrier aggregation across millimeter wave and sub six. I have a lot to tell you about that next and is going to enable all deployment modes across all spectrum, whether it's 4G spectrum, 5G spectrum, or millimeter wave spectrum, including the ability to combine you know, those spectrums. And is going to continue to drive performance uh, with 7.5 gigabits downlink uh, speed performance and three gigabits uplink performance of 5G. And where we are right now, we're sampling the third generation modem to our partners this quarter. So that's why I think the whole, you know, we're, we're so proud of being the best of the industry with the X55. And at the time we received their award and we have all those new tech technologies already sampling our third generation modem in five nanometer. And that is just the result of not only the commitment of Qualcomm to 5G, but the commitment of our many partners that are driving us uh, to build you know, those great products. And with that, I want to take a moment to explain one big transformation that will be enabled by the X60 modem, okay? It's going to unlock the true performance of 5G as it builds coverage. So the way you look at the 5G deployments today, and if you look at this picture, uh, the size, the size and how you know, wide is, is proportional to the speed, the performance that you get out of 5G network. So you have today the 4G low band, it's fascinating for us to, 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 to design like this because you know, we worked so hard in the past few years to bring 5G performance, uh, 4G performance to gigabit speeds. But when you compare to 5G, that's where you see the equivalent performance of 4G in the low band. Then you add the mid band with much wider channels. And then you add millimeter wave, which the widest possible channel in performance. That's where you see some of the rollouts that are being built today. As operators build the sub six and they build millimeter wave. So the next step is the low bands with dynamic spectrum sharing. They convert to 5G and you have now 5G and 4G devices uh, coexisting in that band and you started to build 5G in the existing base stations building more and more coverage with dynamic spectrum sharing. But once you do that, you don't have the full benefit of the 5G speed. However, you're gonna be on a 5G network, but you only get the benefit of the 5G speed once you get wider channels. And what X60 will do, will allow all of those channels to be aggregated. So now you can have true 5G performance and experience uh, in the existing 4G spectrum in the same way that you get in the mid band. And then beyond that, we start aggregating performance, combining channels of the 5G mid band, the sub six and millimeter wave for much higher speed and performance. So the reason the X60 is so significant is now enable operators, they have their 4G spectrum and they're launching service with 5G in that spectrum to build coverage maps, to aggregate all of their spectrum holdings and then get channels that could be 100 meg wide or beyond and have true 5G performance in the 4G uh, coverage area. And we're very excited about the potential that unlocks for for 5G deployments. We have worldwide interest from, from the operators and they will make use of all the existing spectrum holdings and accelerate the build out, not only a coverage, but also true 5G performance. Very excited about that 
in the Flexibility X60. So we look forward to a lot of X60 designs and, uh, and a lot more you know, coverage and capabilities on 5G networks worldwide.